Here we are in section 5.5 with numbers 1 through 6. Now this says factor the following. It doesn't give us any particular instruction on how to factor it. And so we're going to keep all five of these methods in mind that we've been practicing. So number 1, we look at this. Can we pull out a, start with number 1, greatest common factor? No, we can't. So we look, four terms, three terms, two, nope, there are two terms. So we look, is this a special case? A difference of squares. And yes, indeed it is. And we have 1 squared, so 1 and 1 go there, y goes there, y goes there. And we have a plus and minus in the middle, and that is perfectly factored. So that when you multiply it out, there's no middle term. Difference of squares. Number 2, if we look at this, first is our greatest common factor. Ooh, let's put a star by that guy because we got to remember to do him all the time. Pull out a greatest common factor, and we have 2x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now, this is now three terms, and it looks like we're at this guy right here, x squared plus bx plus c. But if you look at it, this is a special square, x squared. 4 is also a square, so it's quite possible that we might have x minus 2 altogether squared. Let's check and see if that middle term works. x times 2 doubled. Indeed, we get a minus 4x. So this is the end result. All righty, the next one, number 3. Ooh, I don't like how this looks. I'm going to move it around a little bit. X 18x squared plus 13x plus 2, right in descending order so we can tell what's going on. Is there da -da, a greatest common factor? There isn't. That 13 is prime, so we're not going to pull anything out of there. Um, so we now look down how many terms. There are three of them. Three terms, ax squared plus bx plus c. This is where we do the a times c. 18 times 2 is 36. And see if we can split the middle. That's 1 and 36, 2 and 18. Uh, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 6 and 6. And it looks like that guy right there is going to break up the 13. So we really have 18x squared plus 4x plus 9x plus 2. Here, what can we pull out? We now have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So we're up here in grouping. And ta-da, we have, pull out hmm, an x. We can certainly pull out an x. Now what about the 18 and the 4? I think a 2 will go into both of those. Pull out a 2x, and we get 9x plus 2. Hey, look, we have a 9x plus 2 over there. If you'd like to see it a little bit more obvious, you could pull out a 1, which really doesn't do anything to it. And now you can yep, pull those guys out that direction. So you end up with 2x plus 1 times 9x plus 2. There we go. All right, number, um, well, let's go on to the next one. Here, is there a greatest common factor? Nope. Uh, it has two terms, so we're not going to be able to use methods 2, 3, or 4. Special case, it has two terms. Oh, this is a perfect square, and that's a perfect square, but that is a sum. A sum of squares is prime. So we're not going anywhere with that thing. Number five. First, can we pull out a greatest common factor? If you wanted to pull out the minus 1, some people think that's a greatest common factor. You can. I won't be doing that. But take this. Uh, we now have four. No, we have three terms. And there's something in front of it. So we are right here on that uh, AC method. So negative 2 times negative 40 is a positive 80. Uh, yeah, let's make that look like a positive. Good. 1 and 80, 2 and 40. Uh, 3, nope, 4, and 20, 5. Does 5 go into that? It does indeed go into that 16 times. Uh, does 6 go into that? Nope, 7, nope, 8 will. 8 goes into it 10 times, and that is as high as we have to go. And we have to make a plus 21. It looks like those two right there, 5 plus 16 is 21. So this guy came from a 5s and a 16s. And we'll put that minus 40 where it goes. And that negative 2s squared. All right, what can we pull out of there? S, negative 2s plus 5. And what can we pull out of this second half? Looks like we can pull an 8 out. 8 goes into 16 and 40. Indeed. Pull out an 8, and we're left with, ooh, we're going to be left with a positive 2s. So we better pull out not an 8, but we should kind of pull out a negative 8. Yeah, we should pull out that negative 8 so that when we pull it out, it'll leave us with a negative 2s and a plus 5. 
Ah, there we go. That'll make it nice. And then we will have s minus 8 and negative 2s plus 5. And you can pull a negative 1 out of any of those and have the same thing. Now, I'm going to go and erase this just a little bit. And I'm going to do something just a little bit different. Let's erase this. And let's also do this one, pulling out that sign at the very beginning. So here we go. So now here, if we were thinking, we could have pulled out a minus s. And we would have had 2s minus 5. Then pull out this sign as well. And you get a plus 8. And there's a 2s minus 5. So when you pull it out, you have a minus s plus 8 and a 2s minus 5, which is exactly what we had, except the minus 1 is now in this factor. Either one of those is fine. They're the same thing. And finally, let's look at this one. Ooh, 6x squared plus 25xy plus 14y squared. Um, do we have a greatest common factor? Not that I can see. We have x's here. We have y's on the second ones. 6 and 25 don't have anything in common. So now we look. There are three terms, uh, and the leading coefficient is a 6. So we are going to be doing the AC method, no, method 4. 6 times 14, that's an 84. So we list off the factors of 84 to see what can add up to 25. 1 and 84, uh, 2 and 42, 3. 3 will go into that 28 times, 4 and 21. That looks like the thing that will add to 25, but let's keep going just to make sure. 6 and 14, uh, 7 and 12, 8, nope, 9, nope, 10, nope. So it looks like we're good here. 4 and 21, that's what. where did that 25xy came from. So we have 6x squared uh, plus 4xy plus 21xy plus 14y squared. Good. Now we have four terms we can do grouping. Out of here, we can pull a 2 and an x, and we're left with 3x plus 2y. And out of this one, ooh, what can we pull out of there? It looks like a 7 will come out of 21 and 14, 7y. And we're left with 3x plus 2y. Good deal. Let's pull them out this way this time. And we can do it with, let me see, so we're going to have 3x plus 2y out front. And we're left with a 2x plus 7y. There's the 2x and there's the 7y. Alrighty, that should do it.